Hey guys, what's up? It's me, the Dom Fanatic, and welcome to another one of my Pokemon X and Y battles. Today is a very special PU battle. This was my semi-final battle in Fufu and Pokemon's PU tournament, and um, well, as you'll find out, well, you might have seen what the result was from tweets um, and other things, but you will actually see how the battle went down watching this video. So basically, I've stuck with the same team that I've stuck with throughout the whole tournament. And here he has a Grand Bull, Assault Vest Grand Bull, Assault Vest, Dugong, Life Orb, Sneasel, Special Defensive, Noctowl, Bulk Up, Eviolite, Vigoroth, which is really scary, and Eviolite, Sandshrew. So this guy's team is full of threats, and I watched the PU Round 3 highlight video, and this Vigoroth completely destroyed the last guy's team. So I knew this thing would be really, really important to take down, and I knew I needed to keep Sneasel around. To make sure I can knock off all his Eviolites and Salt Vests. Because that just makes pink, uh, his Pokemon way too bulky. Anyway, I decide here to actually lead off with my Choice Spec Simipaw. Expecting him to lead off with Sandshrew. Wanting to get rocks up. So I'm just going to go for the Ice Beam. Expecting him to want to go into Knock Towel. But he goes straight into Dugong. Which is a really, really safe switch looking at it. From uh, looking at it now rather than actually at the time. So I was really disappointed if he did go into this and not into Knock Towel. However, I do go into Terabyte and I do trace the thick fat, which is brilliant. I now have like a resistance to fire and ice moves. But he pulls the double out into his The Beast, which is his Vigoroth, which is what I was really, really, really scared of throughout the whole battle. So here he goes to the taunt and I can't get the Thunder Wave off, which is really annoying because this thing paralyzed would be quite helpful. It's not fast. Uh, a burn would definitely have been the most helpful. Um, I'm really not sure if he's running facade or not though, so that could have been scary. Here he gets a bulk up off, and uh, I know this thing is really scary with bulk ups, and I just want to get a toxic on it, because if he wants to stay in and try and sweep me and set up toxic, it's probably going to be the best way to go about taking this thing down. Um, here I expect him to want to switch, because, you know, pretty much Torterra can take physical hits for days. But he goes for another bulk up on my switch, I'm like, well, hot damn, what am I meant to do now? So I just go for the Focus Blast. Thankfully, I do hit, and that does so much damage. Life Orb, uh, Focus Blast for a modest Magma. But I kind of had to sacrifice something, and unfortunately, Magma does go down to a plus two stab Body Slam. And um, this is where I'm getting quite scared. Uh, so this, but luckily, I know I'm, I'm fast, and because it's not fast, I can bring something in. I mean, I carry Focus Blast on my semi pore as well, so I can pretty much go for that and be safe. In comes his uh, Grand Ball here. I could have probably gone for the Hydro Pump, uh, gone for neutral damage on whatever he wanted to bring in, because it would have killed from that range. I'm pretty sure it would have anyway. But um, I'm not going to want to stay in with the Focus Blast. I know Simipore and Sneasel are going to be the most important things to me at this time. So anyway, I bring in Deku, and he goes for the Ice Punch, which is stupidly annoying. Normally, uh, Torterra can take Ice punches a lot better than that. Normally, when I get hit by an Ice Punch, just from just personal experiences, I've always lived with over half, but I've obviously never taken an Ice Punch from a Gramble, or maybe the same set Gramble. So uh, I do manage to outspeed and get the Rocks up, which is really helpful with taking out a lot of his Pokemon. As you'll see, he does do a lot of switching. As we've seen already, he likes to make double predictions, predictions, switches. So Stealth Rocks is really helpful. Anyway, I want to bring in Sneasel here, because I know I have the Focus Sash, and he probably knows that, and he doesn't want me to knock off his item. So I just go straight up for the knockoff. Um... Maybe he kind of thought I could have killed him with something from this range of health, but I can't. Go straight up for the knockoff on Dugong, and then he goes for the fake out, and this is why I love about Sneasel. With so many things getting fake out, inner focus is brilliant, and I just go straight up for a brick break. Now, I don't think he took note of this, as you'll see later on in the battle, um, and I do take that thing out. So he took two of my Pokemon, he took my Torterra and uh, Magmar out really quick, and I was really scared at that point. But this is where it kind of flipped. And I really, really gathered some good momentum in this battle. And he kind of, he said he got a bit ahead and cocky. Um, I'd like to say, obviously, it was my brilliant Pokemon battling skills. But you'll see anyway. So here I make a pretty good play. Bring in my Porygon, trace the Intimidate, and get an Intimidate thing off. Uh, intimidate off on Gramble. And I take that play rough really well, considering I have no defensive investment. Just standard of eye light. Uh, Grample is such a beast as well. Anyway, in comes Sandshrew, and I go for the Thunder Wave. He does bring that in to take the Thunder Wave, which is really annoying. But here he switches out from Sandshrew, and brings in his Farger, which is his Sneasel. 
which is uh, probably wanna, gonna want to go for a knockoff at this point. I'm trying to get rid of my Violite. Here though, this this is why Inner Focus is brilliant. He goes for another Fake Out. I don't know if he realised, or maybe he was just trying to get some damage off on me first, before I just go straight up for the Brick Break, and his Sneasel's dead, which means nothing is getting knocked off my Pokemon, which means I have the upper hand here, because I can still knock off items off his Pokemon. So anyway, in comes Mike Tyson, which is his Granbull, and I know I don't want to stay in on a Play Rough, so um, I'm just going to get the hell out of there. Obviously, my switch into Porygon here is pretty obvious, so I'm just going to do it anyway, because I know it's safe. And I was pretty confident he'd want to switch straight back out, predicting this, but I thought, I'm just going to do it anyway. Um, Porygon's probably one of the most expendable things on my team right now, so I'm just going to just gonna go for it and see what happens. Uh, he does withdraw Mike Tyson, and he does go out into the Beast, which, his Vigoro uh, which is his Vigoroth, which is really, really, really scary. So, um... I don't know if I'd have been fast here. I might have been able to take him out by switch, which means he gets a free chance to get up his slack off, which was so annoying. I was so frustrated about seeing that. And I was like, oh no, he's just going to set up bulk ups and take me out. And Sneapore is my only special attacking Pokemon left on my team. Here he switches because he doesn't want to take a focus blast, obviously. I think at this point I just go straight up for the Hydro Pump and with rocks. It is a clean and easy two hit KO. The question is, can I hit two Hydro Pumps in a row? He doesn't want to swap out. Noctowl, I'm assuming Noctowl is a special defensive Pokemon. Maybe from that damage, it's not, I don't know, but that done so much damage. Um, so now, yeah, he's kind of in a bad situation here, a really bad situation, because Simipaw's just sitting here at full health with Choice Specs Hydro Pump. But the Aviolite on this thing saves it barely and he gets a slack off uh, off which is really annoying because he's basically back at where he was so I can either stay in here and hope to get a crit or try and play smart which I do I actually do I expect him to go for another slack off either expect him to be able to get back to full health or take another hydro pump or risking the hydro pump miss so I risk it I take the chance to bring in Delson and I can actually now get a knockoff off on this thing, but he switches because he knows how important it is to keep the Violet on that thing. However, Mike Tyson, his Gramble is at such a low amount of HP now, where even after Intimidate and the resistance to knock off, I'm able to get the knockoff off. Knock off, that's so many offs. Knock off his Assault Vest and then actually take him out with the Ice Punch, which was a massive risk. I, could, I don't know what the calcs were there. I, maybe I could not have killed him. But it was so good that I could have. And at this point, I do not mind if he takes out my Sneasel. Because I'm pretty sure it's currently 3 versus 1. He's on his last Pokemon. I get the knockoff off on his Slack off. Oh my god, there's too many offs. It's, I'm going to put an off pun in the title. But he goes for the bulk up. It really doesn't bother me that much. I'm just going to go for the Brick Break. Um, because he decided to go for the bulk up. If he had a bulked up again here, or Slack off, he, he might have been able to do more damage. But now I've knocked off the Abilite. I'm pretty confident I can take this thing out with a Focus Blast. So as long as I don't miss, the semi-final is mine. What is going to happen? In comes Kong. I go for the Ice Beam, actually. And uh, that actually takes him out easy peasy. Because I know it can't miss. And he's not got a Violet anymore. Which means he cannot take it. And at this point, he only has his Sand True left. So he didn't only have his Vigoroth left. I went for the Asset. I went for the Ice Beam, knowing he had this left. Hoping it would kill. Because it's a powerful move. And it's Specs. Pretty much going to take it out. And even with a Violite, Sanctuary is not going to live that. So, really good game. I've got to say your name at the start. Shardy, I think. That's how they pronounce it in the video anyway. Uh, Shady, I don't know. But that was such a good battle. And I do progress into the final. Guys, I really hope you can support me in this. I, it's our chisel or someone else I get in the final. I don't know his name. Um, other, otherwise, guys, I hope you enjoyed this battle. And I'll see you later. Goodbye.